All right, back. Welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CC. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the power of the levels adjustment. So in the past, we worked on the brightness contrast adjustment. And if I actually click on it and actually do the auto adjustment for this image here, this image was taken at a, uh, the LA Aquarium. And you can see it does an OK job. But what you have to understand with brightness contrast is it only allows you to go up and down in terms of the entirety of contrast and the entirety of brightness. It doesn't give us quite enough flexibility. So what I'm going to do is turn this off and I'm going to click on the background layer again and add what's called the levels adjustment. Now the levels adjustment is like taking the brightness contrast and adding a bunch of more uh, depth to the overall image. Now let me drag it out just for a moment here to explain what's going on here. So you basically have uh, the ability to go channel by channel if you want and adjust the actual histogram of each one uh, or you can do the entire composite of RGB. Now what these three sliders represent is the black, the, the gray, and the white in terms of luminosity. The scale goes from 0 to 255. And as you can see from this histogram, uh, we have a lot of clipping that happens, uh, like right in here in the black. There's absolutely no depth in terms of the black, almost no pixels at all. And you can see that in the image here. Uh, on the right here, we have, again, very few highlights. We have mostly in the middle sort of mucky gray. And that's pretty much what's going on here in this image. Now, we're going to get into actually breaking down uh, and, and trying these out in, in the next tutorial. But for right now, just understand they're here. These two sliders at the bottom actually reduce contrast. So that represents the entirety of black and the entirety of white. If I actually dragged it out here, you can see how it reduces the overall contrast. And there are times in compositing where you really want to explore those. So let's try the automated features in... Uh, in the uh, levels command. So I can click on the auto button here, but I can also click on this little widget here and go to auto options. And basically you have these options here, which are pretty much the same as the image option of auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color, but it's done through the power of levels. So I can click on each of these and see the effect here, you know, what's going on with each of these images. And definitely the one that does the best job here is the enhance by uh, per channel contrast, which if I actually hover there, it should say that right there, it says at the very end of that line, clip color channels independently to increase contrast and alter colors. And then it says at the very end there, it says, let me hover it again, auto tone. And that's the one that adjusts greatly for uh, color con uh, color cast, which is happening here. This is very typical in terms of any imagery that you take underwater. So let me click OK here, and I'll minimize this temporarily. But you can see here that you know when we're looking through a fog of water, in this case a uh, glass, because it's an aquarium, uh, the blue light is sort of dominating everything and uh, pretty much you lose the warm reds and that's what's happening. You can see it clearly as I turn it on and off. I mean, what a difference that adjustment does just with a single click. Now I can double click on it and actually adjust a little bit further. Um, I can bring in those darks and lights. Let's actually move this out over here and let it float again like we did before. And what I want to explain here is I can simply grab this black needle and you can see the shadows getting darker and darker and I can grab the white needle and it will get lighter and lighter and then I can grab this middle gray value and the overall grays will basically light or dark here. And then I can highlight it and default it has a one value here versus the zero or 255. Now here's a little trick if I hold alter option and click on the end here what it's going to do as I click and drag, it's going to preview what colors are being clipped in the spectrum. And what happens is when you're grabbing the black needle, when you hit black, that's really bad. That basically means if I release it here, 
these areas of black are basically uh, flat black. There's no visible detail here now. So it's basically gone too far. And so I'd want to back off there, uh, probably to somewhere out here. Now I can do the same thing with the white here. Hold Alt or Option and click on the little, little guy and drag inwards. And you'll start to see the breakdown of luminosity in terms of the clipping that happens. And when it goes pure white, that means, again, it's fairly flat. So it's like the opposite white. Well, actually the same. White is white and black is black. So you're going to see there. As you see the colors there, basically you're seeing some clipping in each of those colors. Okay. So I'd probably drag this out a little bit, but not too far out for the white. Again, with the black, let's click in here and see. Uh, I would say somewhere around 13, maybe 14 here for the value. If you highlight it, you can hit the up arrow or you can hit shift arrows to kind of drag inwards if you want a little more exaggeration where it jumps in increments. Um, or you can hit the up arrow just to go out a couple of notches, maybe even 18 or 19 here. Looks pretty good. And actually, I think this, uh, this value of the 248 could go down a couple. Uh, I don't mind a little bit of exaggeration of some highlights here. But uh, wow, what a difference. And that is the power of levels. Basically gives you the ability to adjust everything, your blacks, your grays, and your lights on the fly. Uh, explore and have fun. We'll have some future tutorials on levels. Until next time, cheers on photo and Photoshop CC.